Welcome into This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. I'm your host, Kyle Tate. Each week on Monday and Thursday, I give you a rundown of all the happenings across Georgia Tech sports. Georgia Tech women's basketball is back at it tonight at 7 p.m. in a big ACC matchup against the number 12 Maryland Terrapins. The Terps come in at 18-3 and 4-2 and and in ACC play, while Georgia Tech is tied with North Carolina and Florida State for third in the conference at 6-2. and two. The Terps are led by freshman forward Alyssa Thomas, who in ACC play is averaging 17.2 points and 11.7 rebounds per game. Come on out to the Thriller Dome tonight at 7 and help the Jackets celebrate National Girls and Women in Sports Day. All girls and women will be allowed in the game free of charge. The Lady Jackets will also be hosting the 7th Annual Women Out Front Celebration, which will recognize at halftime those who have made a significant impact in Atlanta or in women's basketball. Once again, tip-off is at 7, but you're encouraged to arrive early to avoid parking congestion. Men's basketball also hits the floor tonight down in Miami, looking to bounce back from their loss on Sunday to Maryland. Miami has struggled at times this year, putting up a 12-9 record, 1-6 in the ACC. The Hurricanes are coming off a four-point loss at Virginia Tech and have lost four straight in six of the last seven. They're led in scoring by junior guard Malcolm Grant at 15.7 points per game. Tonight's game will be televised on ESPN2. Following the Miami game, the Jackets have a quick turnaround. They'll host Clemson on Saturday at 1 p.m. from Alexander Memorial Coliseum. Clemson defeated Georgia Tech 87-62 earlier this season at Little John Coliseum. Big match tomorrow for the women's tennis team. They head to Athens to take on the Georgia Bulldogs. It's a matchup of two closely ranked teams with the Jackets at number 13 in the latest rankings and the Bulldogs at number 15. The Jackets are 3-0 on the dual season, most recently coming off a sweep of Iowa and South Florida in the annual ITA kickoff weekend last Saturday and Sunday. You'll also have a chance to watch your men's tennis team in action. They'll be at home on Saturday for an afternoon duel with number 40 Mississippi State. The Bulldogs are 1-1 one one in the spring dual season, falling last Saturday to number 10 Texas A&M in a tight one 4-3. They bounce back though with a 7-0 win over Arizona on Sunday. Come on out to the Bill Moore Tennis Center on Saturday at 1 p.m. to see the men's tennis team take the court. Men's golf is in action right now at the Amer Ari Invitational in Hawaii. The fifth-ranked Jackets are in a tie for second place with number four Oklahoma State. Number 24 Southern California has a seven-stroke lead going into today's day two action. Redshirt senior John Tyler Griffin paced the Jackets on day one, shooting a five under par 67. Play continues today, Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and the tournament will conclude on Friday. The track and field indoor season continues this weekend. The team will hit the road Friday to Blacksburg, Virginia, where they'll compete in the annual VT Elite Invitational. Senior pole vaulter Joanna Wright is coming off a spectacular weekend at the Rod McCravey Invitational, breaking her own school record with an unfathomable height of 4.30 meters. For her efforts, she was named this week's Georgia Tech Female Athlete of the Week. She and the rest of the track and field team will be in competition on Friday and Saturday in Blacksburg. Some rare spring football news for you. Yesterday was signing day for the Jackets on the gridiron. Tech received 22 commitments, including 20 from the Southeast. Tech picked up a few essentials, including eight linebackers, four offensive linemen, and three running backs. The class of 22 marks the largest for Tech since 2004, when the Jackets inked 23 commitments. By the way, season tickets for the 2011 football campaign are now on sale. The Yellow Jackets have seven big games at Bobby Dodd Stadium, including hosting Kansas, Clemson, Virginia Tech, and rival Georgia. Visit ramblinrec.com forward slash tickets for more information and to purchase. The countdown continues to the Georgia Tech softball and baseball seasons. Just eight days for softball and 15 for baseball. Congratulations are in order to sophomore pitcher Hope Rush of the softball team. She was named this week to the USA Softball Player of the Year watch list. Last year, Rush was a semifinalist for the national award, while senior Jen Yi was named a finalist. Softball begins its 2011 slate at the NTC Elite Tournament in Claremont, Florida on February 11th, taking on Florida Atlantic at noon and Chattanooga at 2.30 p.m. I already mentioned this week's female co-athlete of the week in Joanna Wright. The male co-athlete of the week goes to Iman Shumpert. Last week against Virginia Tech, he scored 22 while grabbing 12 rebounds and handing out 11 assists. It was just the fourth triple-double in Georgia Tech history and the first since Kenny Anderson did it in 1989. Congratulations to both Iman Shumpert and Joanna Wright for their extraordinary efforts this past week and being named the Georgia Tech Co-Student Athletes of the Week. That'll do it for this week in Georgia Tech Athletics. We hope you'll join us next time. For more information on any of these stories or for ticket information, 
visit the official website of Georgia Tech Athletics, www.ramblinrec.com. And don't forget to check back on Monday for the next installment of This Week in Georgia Tech Athletics. Until then, I'm your host, Kyle Tate, saying what's the good word?